Here's the thing, you cannot hold a record against them and still expect them to love you. Just hear me out, yeah, hear me out. Here's the thing, if you are holding a list, a checklist of everything your spouse has done, everything that they've gotten wrong, everything that they've done wrong in you in your marriage, and you still expect them to show up from love, to show up, yet every time they try and do something, or it's just slightly wrong, you throw this record against them, you cannot expect them to go all in on that marriage. You cannot expect them to fully show up. And here's why, it's not from them being nasty, but here's the thing, who wants to show love when every time you try, you get attacked, when every time you try, your old self gets thrown back in your face, right? Here's the thing, as Christians, when we accept Jesus Christ, we are made anew. We are made a new person. Our old is gone. Our past is gone. And when we step into forgiveness, Jesus forgives our sins. Yet in our marriage, spouses don't want to forgive them, right? So here's the thing. I encourage you to let go of past hurts, of past wrongs. I'm not talking when there is physical things. We're not talking about that. We're just talking about like things that their partners done, like they forgot your birthday, they forgot to do things. They said something harsh once. Stop using that as a weapon against them. Your marriage will not prosper if you keep on using a record of their past wrongs against them. Take a moment to actually say, I let it go. I forgive. I let it go, not just for yourself, not just for them, but for the blessings that you carry forward. Because here's the thing, love transcends generations the love right now that you are creating in your marriage is going to pass on to your children's generation the next generation and generations to follow but if you keep on holding on to these records that is what you're creating for the generations to come remember follow for more